started and we're gonna keep the momentum rolling. My next guest caused quite a swelling of support after last month's showing. I'm gonna ask you to put your hands together and your cheeks together for my guest at this time, the easy lover, Joe Burton. Yeah.
where we started this tag team action and, and since it features two members of the UWO, I guess we'll just keep the announced train running. I've been joined by uh, UWO member B-Mobile who hasn't put the phone down since he got to the table. I'm not exactly sure what his goal is here. He's just been talking on the phone, so the nonsense CSW fans you hear in the background is just B-Mobile talking. We've got action going on in the ring right now. The easy lover, Joe Barton, tag teaming up with Roland Doobie, one of the highest flying tag teams now in CSW, and Johnny Crash from the UWO, as well as CSW heavyweight champion, Animal Sam. We are not here to do this. What? With as thick as easy level is, B Mobile, maybe John Crash is the first member of the Cut Buddy Quick. That is a whole lot to love, and it's now a dance battle has broken out between these two men. Easy Lover making the moves look oh, absolutely no. easy out there. He won't spin like a goddamn banana. Man, look at this little joint looking thing. He's too stoned to have a rhythm, but Roland Doobie trying his best. My God, what is that, the Carlton? We're going to get us some dance lessons. Let's get that 5G up there. Yeah, there we go. Let's get that CS menu. Animal Sam, I don't think they taught dance lessons in the Badlands, but the Madman might be making his way into the ring to show us how it's done. When you're the CSW World Heavyweight Champion, I guess you get whatever music you want. They put some respect on his name, all right? That's what that is. This, recognize. this match has just fallen apart. We looked for some heavy hitting uh, tag team action when we got this thing started, and, and all we've seen are a couple of superstars just busting moves out there. But you hear them everyone because that's the easy lava, all right? The UWF came to hit the the beats. Now a little bit of a disconnect here for the UWO, Johnny Crash, and Animal Sam. We've got a call for music, and now the UWO... I guess we're gonna see it! Ladies and gentlemen, that was CSW World Heavyweight Champion Animal Sam. Hey, hey, don't do it like that. Don't, don't put that out there. Don't put that on CSW. You can't knock it. You can't knock it here, okay? That could happen to any of us, right? I guess my signal was a bit spotty, but what I saw in the ring, Mobile, was easy lover Joe Barton initiating the UWO into the cuddle buddy quick. I don't think that's going to be on the streaming version. I'm going to be honest with you, okay? I'm going to make sure we do something about that. Well, we have absolutely lost control of this match. And we're looking now, Ref Nugent busting the moves. Okay, uh, well, I, we may have 
eventually get here. Now the, the crowd has finally calmed down. The music has subsided. Ref Nugent has gotten control of the ring. And there's the bell. Now we're going to finally see the easy lover Joe Barton square off one-on-one -on -one with the CSW heavyweight champion Animal Sam, a man you know so well. B-Mobile joining me at ringside here for commentary in this CSW tag team action. Oh, man. From the point of the UWO, how do you combat the easy lover? He's so easy going. He is so vile in the ring. How do you even take the offensive onslaught that he's got? It's just so much. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Whether I should, whether I need a special ticket or something to see this. Animal Sam wants no part of the easy lover. Ref Nugent steps in, separates the two men. Animal Sam, more of an old school way of thinking. He wants to throw fists and make sure this CSW world knows he is the heavyweight champion. Easy lover, all good with dancing tonight. On here, he's just dancing. They've squared back up now. This could mean business for both of these men. Easy Lover now backing Animal Sam into a corner and once again trying to escape the grasp of Joe Barton. Please, hey, I ain't going to lie. That offense, so I mean, I never know how to go bed, all right? I'm going to let him into this. Go ahead on, champ. Ref Nugent starts the count as CSW heavyweight champion Animal Sam cannot bring himself to face the easy lover. Joe Barton has had his way, mind game after mind game, playing tricks here with the UWO. Randy Roode finally able to calm down Animal Sam as he approaches the ring one more time, asks Ref Nugent, give him his space. He is the champ when all is said and done, B-Mobile. Ref Nugent's count up to six. Oh. Joe Barton giving him the rear end. Animal Sam goes for the suplex. A little bit of bump and grind there by Joe Barton. What type of offense is that? Sam's never been trained on that. I trained personally at the Badlands. They don't teach a course like that. If it works, I guess it's kept the CSW champion at bay. And if nothing else, if you're Joe Barton, it's a heck of a strategy. Starting to lock up here in the middle of the ring, a show of yeah, strength. Joe Barton goes down to a knee. Yeah, what? Just when he thought, oh my goodness, Joe Barton. Can I get a foul round? Now we see a little bit more traditional style wrestling. Joe Barton has that hand of Animal Sam cranking on that wrist and shoulder lock. Joe Barton has had his way. He has absolutely gotten into the mind of the CSW champion Animal yeah, Sam here tonight. I don't think he got into from the looks of it over here, man. He's going to get himself into the CSW penitentiary, I think, pretty quickly here. I'm going to have to suspend his line. I don't know what he's streaming on YouTube, but it's not the CSW channel. Joe Barton now locking back up with Animal Sam, a couple of hip thrusts, but now Animal Sam has seen enough, just overpowering the easy lover. One, two, my goodness, another couple of hip thrusts here by the easy lover and catapults Animal Sam out of the ring. Animal Sam may have had enough in this one. He doesn't have an answer for the easy lover tonight. How do you answer that? You tell me. I've never seen a man like this. Animal Sam making his way back down the ramp into the ring. And Joe Barton assumes the position like a female cow in heat. My God, it's disgusting at this point. Put some respect on the animal's name, okay? There you go. He's a former state wrestling champion, all right? The animal's a beast. I guess to be fair, Mobile, you guys had a parade earlier. Maybe Barton's just bringing the cake a little bit late to the party. Animal Sam, none too pleased with the rules of this match. 
Joe Barton trying to get things back settled in the middle of the ring like a traditional wrestling match. Mobile, you mentioned it. Animal Sam, a former state champion level wrestler. Yeah, there we go, Sam. You got this. Let's go for the points. Come on, man. I don't think that makes it into the rule books of many state wrestling tournaments. Animal Sam has seen enough. He's tagged in his tag team partner here. Big Crash Daddy, Johnny Crash in the ring, and Joe Barton asking if the CSW crowd here wants to bring it up a little level, get a little higher, and see some action from Roland Doobie here tonight. There we go. You see that with Crash Daddy's in the ring, it's always electrifying. And now we see a big square off here between two of Colorado's best wrestlers, Johnny Crash and Roland Doobie, who just a few minutes ago, Mogul said that Bong Fu was back in CSW. Whatever that means, here we go. Man, yeah. that Bong Fu ain't got nothing on the Crash Daddy. Crash Daddy goes for the early attack. Now they're back to back. Crash Daddy's lost sight okay, of Roland Doobie. Shadow. Okay, look at him. He just sticks. And Roland Doobie having a heyday in there. His hay be, may be a little bit more uh, green than most of our uh, farmers are used to seeing. But Johnny Crash now has his eyes back on the Mile High Maniac here. Roland Doobie may not even know where he is. Yeah, I can smell the earth from up over here. I, I don't even know if he knows how high he is. Oh, a purple knuckle! Did he twist or whatever you call it? My God! Ref Nugent starts yeah. to count. One, two. Yeah. He's up to three. And four and Johnny Crash. Are you kidding? They're gonna let Jody Wall that, but they're definitely not gonna let Crash do that. It's a little more technical in there, I guess, with these two men. Johnny Crash going for the purple nurple attack, and with one stiff right hand, he's got Roland Doobie on the mat. Johnny Crash calling for a little bit of higher action. <laughs> It's a massive elbow across that forehead of Roland Doobie. Doobie came into the match with double vision, though. That may have gotten him back on track. Ah. Yeah, he looked a little left. You see how the UWO working in perfect unison with she. Look at that. Oh, and this, this may be an unfair advantage. I've got B-Mobile here from the UWO talking about two of his partners here in this match. Animal Sam, the CSW heavyweight champion, and Johnny Crash have been a tag team before and for years. Joe Barton, the easy lover, and Roland Doobie, a newly formed tag team here at CSW Spring Tide. And, and obviously, the chemistry between the UWO is not going unnoticed. A massive body Look slam there that. in the middle of the ring by the CSW heavyweight champion. Animal Sam now going for a massive leg drop. He hooks the leg, and no, not enough. Animal Sam wants more. He wants to take the green light out of the eyes of Roland Doobie. Tags in Crash Daddy. Now we're going to get to see an unfair advantage. Yeah, they just sit here working him. They work in Memphis on that boy. Crash Daddy with the double fists across the backside of Roland Doobie. He's in a bad sort of way. Mobile, he's got to find a way to get out of the grasp of the UWO right here. Hey, man, it sounds like a personal problem. Stop choking before your matches, all right? We're tired of it. Doobie trying to work his way back up to his feet, but the strength and the sheer size of Crash Daddy just too much. My God, if you thought that was an earthquake outside, it's just the right hand of Johnny Crash coming down across the chest of Roland Doobie. Now sends him into one ring and just... He knocked the 420 out of him. Look at that. A boulder. A boulder in the middle of the ring. An immovable object is Crash Daddy. Insatiable in there. Beautiful tag. Look at that. And the UWO now absolutely showing they are the dominant team in this matchup. And Sam for the second time goes high risk district, comes down with that glancing double fist across the back of Roland Doobie. Now just grinding the foot into the chin. Ref Nugent with the count three before Animal Sam breaks it. And Joe Barton wants to get back into this match desperately, trying to save his tag team partner, Roland Doobie, from this offensive attack by the CSW champion. They're like, they're almost over, my good friend. All right, the UWO came in, they boots themselves. 
And if you're anybody joining us late in this CSW Spring Tide action, I'm being joined ringside by UWO member B Mobile. We're calling some tag team action, a big crossbody. Roman Doobie goes for the crossbody. As Animal said, but the tag was made. The tag was made now. Joe Barton in the ring. Throwing blows. He's got Animal Sam up against the ring. He's got Crash Daddy into another corner. He's got a couple of blows, and now Animal Sam shuts down his return attack. Joe Barton came into this match excited. Animal Sam hasn't had an answer to this point, and now the poke to the eyes. Ref Nugent should have seen it. It's typical dirty fashion that you guys do over there. In the dirty WWE. man, he's over here dropping us, and we can't do nothing to defend ourselves. All right, all that funny food and bar food, we're just trying to make it work, all right? Let me ask you a personal question here, Mobile. Are you jealous that you weren't invited to the Cuddle Buddy clip? You know what? I think I'm good. That can go ahead and stream over there on 2G. It doesn't need to be upgraded to 5G. He good where he at. You heard it here first. Mobile, not interested in the Cuddle Buddy clip. Maybe Crash Daddy to be the first member inducted tonight here as he continues to throw strikes at the Easy Lover. Now you see UWO just having their way again. The chemistry is impalpable here. We're unbreakable, all right? That's what you guys keep missing when you guys call on that. Unbreakable. What we don't miss, Mobile, is the constant cheating and dirty ways. Animal Sam out here, he's got his entire squad of goons. And now he comes out, was going to go high risk instead with the elbow across the Why head. Why risk it? Why risk it? He's the, he's the world champion. Why risk it? He is the CSW heavyweight champion. Animal Sam here with a big headbutt. Randy Rude can't stop flapping his jaws. He had a whole show to himself last month, Mobile. Rude a palooza. I mean, come on. That'd be like me calling it, you know, Tristan favorite match. I don't know. That's how dumb it sounds. But Rude a palooza wasn't enough. He's got to come out here and continue to talk. Rude is one of our greatest shows of all. Don't you ever respect that name, all right? Well, whatever it was, he had his way, and now enough to distract Ref Nugent. The two-on-one attack of Johnny Crash and Animal Sam continues. Easy lover Joe Barton in a bad sort of way. He may be out on his knees in the middle of the ring. Man. You call a double team, I just call that a good Tuesday night. And now we've got, I guess, the legal man, Animal Sam, walking across the ropes. This is Animal Sam fashion. What do we have here? What is going on? Champion 
on the top rope, and now we've got your winners, Joe Barton and Roland Doobie here at CSW Springtime. Let's kick it to one of our CSW sponsors. You can learn this, or this, then why don't you come on down and put your money where your mouth is at SoCo Pro Wrestling Training Camp, where the future stars are made. <laughs> Our training times are Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from noon to 10 p.m. You can contact us at SoCo Pro Training Camp or email us at socoprodojo at gmail.com. So why don't you come on down and join the collective at SoCo Pro, and this could be you. <laughs> Snow. Oh, oh no. no. Colorado's weather can sure do a number on your roof. Who should people call? That's reliable roofing systems. MyHappyRoof.com. Call your mom and dad at 576-6300. Mention this and get a special discount. Call now. That's reliable roofing systems. MyHappyRoof.com.